The verse of the day for this weekend's worship is Hebrews 4, verse 12, which says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. This is the word of our God. Now, if you had to say or to guess which of these two objects I'm holding would you say is stronger? I have a sword, I have a Bible. You might be tempted to say, Pastor, you could use that sword and cut that Bible in no time. I'm going to get even a little deeper into that. You could use the sword, I suppose. I don't think this one's very sharp, but it is double-edged. could use the sword even to cut into people, penetrate their bones, their, even their hearts. But you know, the Word of God, the Bible can do something that this sword cannot do. The sword can cut into people's hearts, but once they're cut, it's done. The Bible cuts our hearts too. It cuts us because it tells us how deeply we have offended God. The Bible judges our attitudes and our thoughts, and it pierces our hearts. In fact, that's part of the reason God gave us the Bible. One of the main reasons he gave us the Bible was to cut us, to break us. But what this sword can't do, that this Bible can, is heal us. It says it, it even divides soul and spirit, which as far as I can tell, that's like saying it can divide myself from me. I can't tell the difference. This Bible can do amazing things that we don't even understand. The biggest thing we don't understand is why God would forgive us. He sent his son, that we do understand, to heal us, to bring us back to God. So we're no longer at war. God is not threatening us with the sword. But he breaks our hearts so he can mend them. He breaks our hearts so we find our rest in him. The word of God is sharper than the sword. And so if you had to choose one of these two objects, which one's stronger? It's the Bible every time. Because the Bible is God's power. Amen.